Yeah, I want to go over another concept. Actually, it's called uh, frequency fatigue, and you can get rid of that um, problem if you have it. It's hard to tell when you have it, though. And uh, I'm trying to judge this without being uh, placebo conscious of anything. So uh, let me put it to you this way: I'm uh, very much trying to be scientific about this versus uh, you know I imagined I felt this way and all this type of stuff. So I'm trying to be a very objective about this. Actually, I'm running right now. I'm running two of these Spooky 2 uh, Rife machines. And you can see they're over here. You have them listed right here. There's this one and this one. Now I have on the second machine, if you can see right here, I'm actually running three things. Uh, essential oil, frankincense, minerals, uh, gold, and minerals, manganese. The frequency of those uh, particular substances actually not transmitting the substances that per se, what we're doing is we're transmitting the frequency of the substance, which I guess the theory is that you will get the benefit of the substance or a lot of the benefits of the substance itself. And I, I, you know, I don't know if it's uh, controversial or what, but I do know you're not transferring a substance. I know that you're transferring a frequency. Okay, so that's the deal. Now on this other generator, I'm running uh, what you call frequency fatigue. And uh, this is uh, something where if you're doing a lot of this stuff, you might want to run this every once in a while along with the detox. And uh, basically it's two frequencies, 10.55 and 7.83. Now 7.83 is a very, very safe frequency basically because it's the uh, human earth frequency. It's the actual natural frequency that's given off by the earth. So it's, it's touted to be scientifically kind of like helps the body just heal up by itself and do its thing. It's a good frequency. So if you're running a lot of these other frequencies that allegedly help you with this or that or whatever, make you feel better or whatever, uh, you might want to run this frequency fatigue. Uh, and I'm going to actually state a couple things that I found that I probably needed to run this. <laughs> probably needed to run this. You know, I'm trying to be very objective about this because uh, I have... Um, you know, doubts about things, of course, just like everybody else who uses common sense. Because this, uh, this term for this device called spooky is actually uh, a good term. <laughs> it's spooky the way it works. And uh, it's written by John White. The program is written by John White. But the, uh, the program itself is not what's so spooky about it. What's spooky about it is how it transfers the frequencies remotely from DNA holders to the DNA in your body. That's the spooky part. The rife part, I'm convinced upon. I'm convinced about the frequencies. I'm already convinced about the merit of this stuff. Uh, I know some of it's experimental, some of it's more solid. That's my opinion on it. But uh, anyway, I'm going to just just say a couple things uh, more about the uh, some of my experiences with this in a minute here. In a second, actually. I'll reiterate some of my uh, experience with this right now. Um, now I've been using the blood, the Bob Beck blood electrifier for some years. Now I think that thing is not too bad for what it is. It's a lot simpler, but it's no comparison between. There's no comparison between that and what this program does. There's absolutely no comparison. It's almost like comparing a horse and buggy to a rocket ship or something. I mean, basically, I don't want to make it sound like the blood electrifier is like useless, but. It's got a lot of limitations to it, you know. But it does uh, seem to do... I, I can see one thing that I think very solidly about the Bob Beck blood electrifier was with a lot of use, it... I don't know why. I don't know why. You know, I know I heard the reasons why. I read the reasons why. But um, it seems to improve energy levels. Now, I know he, Bob Beck made a lot of claims about what it can do, but... <laughs> It, or he's, you know, exaggerated, okay? That's my opinion on it. He really exaggerated a lot. But it does, I did really pick up, being very objective about it, it did pick up my energy levels. Now, with this uh, Spooky 2 Rife machine, I was running these Converge sweeps and broad spectrum sweeps and other programs that were probably knocking out. You know, this, the, the theory is the frequent, it's got such a broad range of frequencies, it should hit every microbe. And get rid of a percentage of them or stun a percentage of them. That's what the theory is, okay? I'm not going to put it out like it's a solid evaluated by the medical community type fact because it's not evaluated by the medical community. But it's like uh, the theory, when you look at the theory, it really 
has a lot of merit to it, you know, especially if you start studying about how the body has all these chemical processes, which we understand that work with pharmaceuticals, but they're also bioelectrical processes. Actually, when uh, uh, white blood cells conquer pathogens, you know, there's one thing, it's not just a chemical thing, it's a an electric thing. And actually, if you think about everything there is in the universe, uh, actually, even all matter is related to energy. I'm not going to get too much into that stuff, but you know, even matter like uh, you know, solid matter that's like this pen here. It's like consists of all these different atoms with electrons swirling around them really fast. And the only reason we see it as matter is because it has the energy to hold it together with all the atoms that make up this, that make up the molecules. So everything, even in the material world, is very, very much related to the energy world, even though we don't think of that in our daily lives, you know, even though that's a, a solid scientific principle. There's a definite relationship between matter and energy. And there's definitely a bioelectrical, microelectrical process going on in the body. And that is why, you know, I don't want to say that every freaking, <laughs> everything there is on Rife or the, um, the frequency list out there is accurate. Um, there's a lot of inaccuracies, but then there's other things that people have done too many different times to say that it must have some effect, you know. Maybe it's not going to be the cure-all for everything, but the other thing outside of it is that it's inexpensive. You know, if it helps in some way, it's, you know, it's it's like once you buy a frequency device, you got it forever, right? So that's the cool thing. Now, I just want to point out that in my experience when I was running a lot of these broad range sweeps, uh, I felt really tired. <laughs> and the theory is, you know, I was thinking, you know, I don't want to feel tired. You know, I want to get stuff done. I don't want to be feeling like I'm tired because I want to, there's like too many projects I got on my mind. It's something that I did not want to feel that way, but I did feel that way. So I don't think it was a placebo because I didn't want to uh, feel that way. You know, I felt tired. And I'm thinking, at first I was thinking it's not from this, it's not from this, but maybe it was from the sweeps. Maybe it was from the sweeps. Maybe it was from the sweeps were knocking out the pathogens, as the theory says. And by doing so, you know, there's some toxins in the body. So then I ran um, detoxification uh, frequencies. Now, what I've been running now is I've been running uh, frequency fatigue frequencies, uh, which actually, if you run a lot of these frequencies, they say you can get like a, I don't know, you can feel kind of blah or tired or something from, uh, I don't know, running too many frequencies all the time. And, uh, you know, with the spooky remote, you got to run it like uh, many times longer than the contact method. It doesn't work as fast. I don't know how many times longer. It's at least four times longer. Maybe it's ten times longer. You know, maybe ten hours over the remote equals one hour of contact. But on the flip side of that, or maybe it's five hours of remote equals one hour of contact. It's kind of controversial. Nobody really knows exactly. But on the flip side of that, it's very convenient. You know, it's like you don't have to be anywhere near the machine. You don't have to be attached to it or nothing. So it just can run in the background. But if you're running a lot of different frequencies all the time, you know, you could get this reaction where they call it like frequency fatigue, you know. And uh, <coughs> it's probably legit because, uh, I don't know, it made me feel kind of tired. And I started running this uh, frequency fatigue thing. And, uh, you know, I don't want to say like this is a placebo or something because I'm trying to be objective about this because I truly... I really am not a person that's like, oh, I got an ache in my elbow, you know, my, my knee hurts, or, you know, something, my neck feels stiff. I'm not one of those kind of people. Usually I ignore it and I say, screw it, I don't feel bad, and I just go about doing what I got to do. But sometimes I notice stuff when it's enough, you know, and I, I think I probably had the frequency fatigue because I was running this thing for... I don't know, at least a couple of weeks, pretty much 24 hours a day. And uh, so I ran it on frequency fatigue, and uh, I don't know, my energy levels went way up. I mean, I'm just saying what I feel like, you know. I'm not saying that that's a guarantee that that's a cause effect, because I ain't sure, all right. I'm not 100% sure, but I'm trying to be very accurate with this. 
that's the theory how it's supposed to work, and it did seem to work that way. You know, it's like uh, I was doing this, the convert sweep and a broad spectrum sweep. That's theoretically supposed to knock out a lot of microbes, and I felt tired from that. You know, I was thinking I wasn't going to feel tired from it because I thought, you know, I don't have too many microbes. <laughs> That's what I was thinking. But I felt tired from it. And, you know, it was kind of weird because I usually don't feel tired. I usually got loads of energy. Loads of energy. And I felt tired from it. So I ran a detox stuff and I felt better. But then I ran this frequency fatigue stuff and I felt even better. Yeah, now my energy level seems to be super good. So, I don't know. I don't know. I just want to put it out here because, you know, if you're running these things, and you're running a lot of frequencies, and you're trying to, you know, say you're allegedly, let's say allegedly, okay, you're allegedly trying to knock out some microbes, and you're trying to use this in addition to other things you're doing. Maybe you're going, you, you know, you're taking a pharmaceutical thing, you're taking some herbs, you're taking some good food, and you're trying to do a little exercise, and you're having some sunlight, and you're trying this too, right? And you're trying to like get better at something. Something's bothering you or something. So you're running these the frequencies that probably try to attempt to knock out the microbe according to the theory. And say it does do that. And you know the other side of the thing is that when it knocks out somebody's microbes, it causes toxins to be released. Because, you know, you killed them, you know, and so sort I of guess they, they're rotten in your body or they blew up or something. I don't want to be gross about this, but that's kind of like how it works. It's like a live mouse that you might consider uh, a live mouse is not, you're not going to smell it if it's in a wall someplace until it dies. And you're saying, whoa, there's the toxins going off, right? Well, that's kind of like the whole thing with the microbes. So you want to run detox programs. And then on top of that, if you run this a lot, like I was running this for... I don't know, I guess a few weeks, probably 24 hours a day, man. So I started running uh, the, um, what do you call that again, the uh, uh, the frequency fatigue thing. And uh, guess what? <laughs> guess what? It seemed to work. And my energy level's like super good now, like it usually is. And I'm like saying, maybe that's the deal. Maybe that is the deal. Now, actually, the frequency fatigue does have one frequency in it that you know, I, I can't see how it's bad or I, I don't think any of the frequencies are really bad because in this program that's another side note they don't put any frequencies that could possibly be bad but you know some people might have a reaction where they you know it's I guess it depends on who it is but the 7.83 Hertz is the frequency that's been measured to come from the earth that frequency is usually like a, a feel-good frequency a feel-good frequency. Actually, the Bob Beck blood electrifier uses half that frequency. It uses 3.9 hertz, which is half the Schumann Earth frequency, but it's going positive, negative, positive, negative. So one cycle of positive, negative is 7.83 for hertz. I don't know if, if that's why you may, you feel better or whatever. You got more energy with that device, but somehow you do. But I just want to state that this thing with... Um, this spooky Rife machine, and you know the term spooky is because it's remotely transferring um, frequencies from DNA holders to <coughs> your DNA in your body. And I have to say that term spooky is a perfect word for that because it is really strange how it works. It's like you just can't, I mean you really can't think about it because you know it's like when you try to think about it you're thinking it's impossible that it could possibly work, but, you know, I have to state that when I've been using this, it seems to be working, and I don't think I'm playing placebo here, because, uh, uh, you know, I'm, you know, I'm neither, like, super against it, but I'm very, like, uh, you know, I'm from Missouri, show me, <laughs> I'm very much that way, you know, I'm very much hard empirical science type person, and very mathematical, very much with numbers and you know I'm not too much with the you know the inner dimension of space is this and that and I felt this way and you know I am not much in that stuff at all but I think there's actually real hard science going on behind this and so if you're running a lot of these frequencies not only should you run the detox sets 
but you should also run this uh, frequency fatigue set. It's listed under the consolidated frequency list. It's just two frequencies. Uh, I think they run for, one runs for um, the 12 time, well, it's seven minutes, <laughs> one runs for seven minutes, and the other one runs for seven minutes. So they run seven minutes each in a cycle. So it's 10.55 hertz and 7.83 hertz. And, uh, you know, if why I felt crapped out was due to, like, running this a lot and getting some frequency fatigue, and it, it seems like this thing worked. And I'm telling you right now, it's I'm trying to be extremely objective about this. You know, it's not like I got it in my head, uh, I'm going to get frequency fatigue, I got an ache and a pain. I don't think like that at all. Not at all. I'm just, I'm stating a fact. You know? I'm also stating a fact even with the, uh, you know, Bob Beck blood electrifier, which is, you know, light years down from this in uh, versatility. Uh, I, I can state for a fact that that thing somehow, after you get accustomed to it and you run it a while, uh, it seems to provide where you have a higher energy level in your body. I don't know what the deal is, I don't know why, but it does. But this thing is like a rocket ship compared to a horse and buggy compared to the Bob Beck blood electrifier. I just want to put it to you that way. This thing is, I don't know, it's almost like futuristic. It's almost like futuristic. That's all I could say. And I uh, just want to put, you know, again, a word of caution. So if you're running this a lot uh, and you're experimenting with it, make sure you run the detox programs and also run the frequency fatigue program. I know it's experimental. It's like, you know, does this really work or not? Uh, I'm not going to say. I'm not going to say because, uh, you know, who am I? Am I the head of the AMA or the FDA? No, I'm not. And I don't think if this worked, they would endorse it. Because <laughs> they go broke. <laughs> they go broke, you know. If this thing actually worked, you know, they could, they wouldn't get no more money anymore. But I don't know. I don't know if it's gonna work like as good as we all hope it's gonna work. But it may help. It may help. Let me put it to you that way. And once you buy it, you got it. You know, you got it. So just want to again put out those instructions about using the frequency fatigue cycles once in a while because um, you know it seems to boost your energy or something that's what it felt like to me